but that's a good one. that's a good one um all right so i like the new map i do i'm glad that we got a bunch of chicken dinners on it even though it was mostly just bots and the servers that i was playing on it gave us a chance to explore the new map and to have some fun without worrying about having to play too sweaty i really did like that let me put let me put a some music on Yeah. Ah, we'll forget the music. I'm playing the video. That's why. We'll leave the video on. Okay. So, really enjoyed it. I think it's a great new map. And um, that's pretty much all there is to say about, like, the map overall. I enjoyed it. But all the little details they put into it, uh, the graphics look great. I like how bright it is. I like how vibrant it is. Uh, I like the new vehicle. Uh, there's a lot of choke points on the map. Uh, like you saw that guy tried to bridge block us and totally failed. Um, so yeah, it's actually... It's actually a very fun experience playing this new map. I really, really enjoyed it. Ooh, let's rewind a little bit. Right here. Get some more... Uh, Get some more action action clips while we talk about it. Uh, I don't know how the plane works. Sorry, I didn't didn't see any planes or gliders. I didn't see anybody flying them, and honestly, I didn't want to spend too much time trying to figure it out. I just wanted to play the new map and have some fun, and I think I did, and I think I like it. This is the style of map that I really like. Uh, nice and colorful. Lots of fields, lots of bushes, hills, trees. Lots of cities spread out around it. It's great. It's really great. So if you guys were... Uh, and new guns too. The, the K2 and the Mark 12, which I believe was already in mobile. Um, that's, what I'm, uh, that's what I'm using right here. I'm using the uh, Mark 12 DMR. And then uh, the K2 is a Korean assault rifle that they put into it. Um, season 12 looks like it's going to have some new skins. Uh... Lots of new skins and emotes and things if you're into that. I know I really like the victory dance emotes. It's really nice to uh, hit that up. But what do you guys think about it? Let me know. Um, let me know your thoughts in the chat right now. Is this is this a map that you think that you're gonna enjoy? I know a lot of people watch and have or probably haven't played PUBG in a while, and they're just watching the stream to see if it's worth coming back to try the new map. Uh, what do you think? Um, I mean, I guess if you like PUBG, anytime something new comes out, it's always a good idea to come check it out because, you know, you're going to have a good time. But will this new map pull in a whole bunch of players? I believe it's an 8x8 map, which I think is the same size as Erangio. Um Will this new map and new season pull in a lot of players? It'll bring back players that are interested in new content and new seasons, people that have already played the game. But will it will it pull in new players? No, I don't think it's going to pull in new players by any stretch of the imagination. The only thing that's going to pull new players into PUBG is if, is if they make it free and they advertise it more. It always surprises me how many people play uh, like Fortnite and Warzone, but they don't know, but they don't know what... PUBG is, you know, it blows my freaking mind that so many people play Battle Royale and just don't know about uh, PUBG. I don't get it. I really don't get it. Um, but yeah. I like it. I don't know what else to say about it other than it's definitely better than... Well, let's talk about some of the other maps that have come out in the past. So when this game first came out, all we had was Erangale. If you were on the PC early access, we had Erangale for about um, seven months, six and a half, seven months, about half a year. We All, all we had was Erangale. And then Miramar came out. Uh, and then after Miramar, I think Sanhok came out. And then after Sanhok, we had uh, Vikendi, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Vikendi, the snow map. Um, and then after Vikendi, 
what what other freaking PUBG maps are there? I know we had uh, Karakin and Paramo and Haven. Holy crap, there's actually been a lot of PUBG maps. And these are just the ones on PC and console. I'm not talking about the ones on mobile. Mobile has even uh, has different maps that have actually never even come over to PC or console before. Um, but Haven and Paramo were just maps that were seasonal, so they took them away and brought them back. Karakin's not in the game anymore. Um, Erangel used to be my favorite, but now I think my favorite is Vikendi. But this new map called Tego is, quite honestly, that this would be my favorite map. This seems like it's very well designed, very open, uh, but yet lots of places to take cover. I mean, yeah, we, we got four chicken dinners because mostly bots were playing, but when it comes down to the end, you're usually against real players. There was a couple dinners, I think, where we were against the bots, but this is definitely my style of map. So e even if we were going up against all real players, I think we, st we still would have done pretty good today uh, because this is the kind of map that I like to play, you know? So uh, I think we already talked about it, but it is, I believe, an 8 by 8 kilometer map. Um, so it's a big map. I think it's the same size as Erangel. And it's got those bridges. That's Oh yeah, it's got the bridges for doing bridge blocks. They kind of ruined the bridge blocks on Erangel by making the bridges twice as wide, putting sidewalks and uh, ways to pass under the bridge on it. That just kind of sucks. That just kind of sucks that they did that. Um, but yeah, that's whatever. That's whatever. That's just something... Uh, something I have to deal with. I think that's why I started liking Vikendi more than Erangel because the one of the main reasons I liked Erangel is because uh, is because of the bridge blocks. Rumbum, PUBG's advertising is streamers playing the game. That's pretty true, Rumbum, but uh, there's got to be more than that because not many streamers still play PUBG on PC and console. Most people streaming it are streaming from countries other than the United States and they're streaming PUBG Mobile. You know, I'm sure PUBG Mobile doesn't need any advertising in the countries where it's most popular, um, Asian countries, Indian countries, uh, where that's the main that's the main thing. But here in the United States, I mean, we need more people to play PUBG. And if they would just make it free, if they would bring out season 12 with this new map, and if they would just make it free and do an advertising campaign for like a month before it becomes free, just to let people know. There'd be a ton of new people that would get it just because it's free. I mean, we're talking about... This is what we're talking about, guys. We're talking about an old game right now. PUBG is four years old. It came out in 2017, so it's a little older than four years. And a lot of people that still play PUBG have been playing for four years. So they're PUBG veterans. You know, they're very good at the game. Call them sweats, call them tryhards, whatever. They're just good at the game because they've been playing it for so long. Now, if you're somebody looking to get into a game and you like the way PUBG looks, uh, and let's say you buy it on Steam and then you play it and you're like, no, I want a refund. Everybody's too good at this game. Or let's say maybe you don't even buy it because you see how long it's been out. You see how advanced it is, how long it takes to get good at the game. And not only that, but you have to, you have to compete against some of the best of the best players out there uh, just to play the damn, just to learn the game. So a lot of people, I, I wouldn't spend... I don't think I'd want to spend $30 uh, just to get my ass kicked over and over again. That's the reason I don't I don't ever get into CSGO because CSGO has been out for like, what, 18 years or something like that, and it's still going strong. It's still more popular than PUBG, but the learning curve is insane. Like, I would have to dedicate months of my life just to be able to compete in that game i know it's just a shooter but it's just advanced you know when you have to learn um a new game and go against pro players so i i'm glad that they're bringing out new maps and new content in PUBG, but i think they need to focus more um i think they need to focus more on pulling new players into the game and you know i'm no I, i'm not like great at innovation or coming up with new ideas or anything. I'm sure they have people that get paid a lot of money to do that. You know, I'm, I just think it's pretty obvious, like look at Warzone and look at Fortnite. Those games are free. You know, those games are totally free. Um, 
Yeah, I know, I know, I know CSGO is, is free, so maybe that wasn't the best example, but, um, yeah, that's, that's the main reason I don't play it. I mean, if I wanted to try that, but if I ever wanted to try it, I could try it for free. That's good to know. But, um, no, no, that's been, that's been out for like 18 years. PUBG has been out for four years, so maybe CSGO wasn't the best example, but you know what I'm saying? There would at least be some people who would be pulled in because the game was free. There'd be lots of new players, you know, if the, in fact, I did, when they made CSGO free, I did consider getting into it because I knew a lot of new people would be playing it, but I was like, nah, I was too busy with all the PUBG stuff and the Battlefield stuff at that point in time. Um, but yeah. I'm sure there's other ways to bring in new players other than new content and making the game free, but I don't get paid to think up these things. I just like to play video games and stream them. Yeah, that's true, Rumbum. That's very true. Um, but I, I think the game is old now, and it, either way, I think it should be free. Because look how good Fortnite and Warzone do, and that's a free game. They make their money off microtransactions and the Battle Pass. PUBG already has Battle Pass and microtransactions, so why not just make it free the rest of the way, you know? I don't know. I hope they do, because I'd love to see. I'd love to see some new players come into the game, even if they don't make it free. If they find if they find a way to make it attractive for new players, you know that would be a, that would be enough for me. I agree, Zima. I agree. I agree. Well, let's watch the end of this match. Let's fast forward a little bit. Let's fast forward to the end and, and see this uh, chicken dinner that we got here. Three alive. That's true, Spitfire. That's very true. Whoa, 913 likes. Damn. That's crazy. Thanks for all the likes today, guys. I was not expecting to break 900 likes in today's stream. That's, that's insane. Thank you. Thank you very much. Holy crap. Holy crap. All right, it's a 1v1. This is the one where we had the M4 the whole time, but we did have the Mark 12 as the secondary. I think that's what we get the final kill with on this one, the Mark 12. I'm not sure. Either way, there was lots of chicken tonight. I'm very happy about that. Yeah, it is a great map. Overall, I think it's a great map. Very well designed. Good graphics. Looks, plays, looks, feels, and plays great. Oh, got him right when he went behind the tree. There's the new, uh, there's the new lobster dance, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Let me read off some of the generous donations that we get. 